Hey folks, thanks for tuning back into the Colonial Airstream YouTube channel. Joe Welch is here with another Service Tech Tip video. Today we're going to talk about something not often covered. A silent killer, some may say. And that's moisture buildup and its related damages. If excess moisture gets inside your walls or your floors or any part of your RV, it can lead to mold. And that's the last thing that you would want to find inside. So let's cover a couple of recommendations to manage moisture inside and outside your Airstream. Are you ready? Follow me. Taking a look at the unit itself, the materials and methods used to construct your Airstream are designed to minimize air leakage and to create a weather-tight exterior shell to minimize the possibilities of moisture building up. Starting on the outside, we are so lucky that Airstream gave us such particular attention to the exterior shell and to making them as weatherproof as possible. Over the life of the RV, the shell will require regular care and maintenance. The shell includes the roof, the sidewalls, the windows, and even the underfloor, the underbelly of the vehicle. When inspecting the outside of your unit, always keep a close eye on the seals around your windows. You want to make sure that there's no gaps, no cracking, or any peeling. If so, we want to replace these seals in order to secure the RV from any moisture or water getting in. And the same thing for the roof. We want to make sure that there's no drying, pitting, any air bubbles that have popped and left a gap for water to get through getting to any of those seals. If you see any of that wear on the roof, it may be time for a reseal. Now, once inside, monitoring and controlling relative humidity within your RV is one of the most important steps to minimize the risk for moisture-related damage. What is relative humidity? To put it quite simply, relative humidity is a measure of the water vapor content of the air. Airstream states that the relative humidity in your unit should be around 60% or less. In order to check that relative humidity in your Airstream or your RV, you'll probably want to find a hygrometer that will be on Amazon relatively cheap. Luckily there are built-in features in your Airstream that can help you regulate that humidity. You can use both of the exhaust fans or however many you have, as well as the air conditioner to manage that moisture inside your unit. I would even recommend a portable dehumidifier if you're traveling in high humidity climate areas. Signs of excessive moisture can be obvious, such as water droplets forming on surfaces like walls, windows, or even finding a wet carpet. But whether that's a leak or simply condensation starting to appear, it is important to determine the cause of the moisture buildup and take action to clean it up and stop it from continuing. One tip would be to avoid drastic changes in temperature within your unit. If you have the AC blasting as cold as you can and then you start opening doors and windows, that'll change temperature to drop rapidly and condensation to form, as well as if you turn on your heat pump after running the AC for a while. This can then drip down condensation from your walls and this can get on your furniture or other belongings and if water sits for long enough that can turn into mold. When looking at storage compartments, just remember that these areas are prone to moisture buildup and surface mold since the areas are isolated from the main body of the RV. To minimize this risk, clean these storage areas regularly, clean your seals, and allow the airspace between the stored items and the exterior wall to promote air circulation. And most importantly, when storing your RV, make sure that you've turned off all of your water outlets and try opening all of your closet doors and drawers to promote some airflow throughout the coach. And if you can store your Airstream in a climate controlled environment, I would highly recommend doing so. That helps with some of the unknowns of just the temperature changes inside. We want to do these things just to kind of prevent having any issues. And I always would recommend propping open the doors of your fridge and drying out the inside before storing. Taking your preventative measures really is key to a long life for your Airstream. And every now and then, just remember to take a good walk around your RV and make sure that everything is looking right. Before we end this video, we would really appreciate everyone smashing that like button and subscribing for more RV content. And if you found this video helpful or you have any questions, leave us a comment below or reach out to us at colonialairstream.com. Our phone number is 800-265-9019. My name is Joe Welches and I hope to see you all again in the next Colonial Service Tech Tip video.